This is pretty much dessert for lunch. San Francisco is amazing! Here we go, we are going down Lombard Street. What are you guys doing? <laughs> it makes your voice vibrate. Yeah! Cool. Why do you think it makes your uh, voice vibrate? I don't know. I don't know. It's because since it's a fan, it goes around. When your voice comes in, it goes through and it might go with the circling. It's oh, a good hello. theory. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it looks like they'll be entertained for the next half hour to an hour. We are all dressed and ready for the day. We are headed to downtown San Francisco to go to the Grace Cathedral for church this morning. I am so excited to go to this beautiful building. Sunday traffic is a really great thing. There's not much traffic, much traffic on Sundays. I got the Gordon Day Bridge. You see it? So while we're in the Bay Area, we're driving a lot. So we brought a book to read while we drive. My job is to read, and Jeremy has another special job. I've been uh, asked to do the sound effects. <laughs> we're having a good time with it. We arrived a little bit early, so I'm letting the kids play in the park across the street to get some of their energy out before we go in for the church service. is loving chasing pigeons. Oh, oh no! Bird. Bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> I'm glad you're wearing shorts under your dress. Yeah. called stained glass. Isaac finally made it to the center. The he needed to. Oh, good job, Jenny. What street are we on? Lombard, Lombard Street. We're headed to lunch, but our directions told us to drive on Lombard Street. So, instead of turning left where we were supposed to, we had to turn right so we could try to drive down the crooked part. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, we're going up the street first. Oh, he says go. He says go. Yay, thank you. Okay, this is it. Oh my goodness, Jeremy, people wait in line for like an hour to drive down the street, and there's only like a couple cars in front of us. And there's people managing it. There right? are. Oh my goodness, guys, we're doing it. Yeah. We're gonna drive down the crookedest street. Look at that view. Thank you, thank you. Here we go, we are going down Lombard Street. Here it is, we're going down. Jeremy's safely maneuvering the car. Oh, we're gonna get wet. Mimi's <laughs> gonna get wet. <laughs> You're gonna get wet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I would not want to live on this spot. I do. How would I you do. ever get out? Right? What do you guys think? Is it twisty? Awesome! I'm just more thrilled by this experience. 
this is like going to Disneyland and getting on Splash Mountain in five minutes or something, you know? We just compared Lombard Street to Disneyland. It's really not the same as Disneyland. Normally you have to wait a long time yes. to get on a ride. Yes. And we didn't have to wait at all. No. Nope. That was my comparison. So is it hard to drive on? No. I mean, we're going less than five miles an hour, so I can handle the turns. <laughs> we made it. Lombard Street did it. So Kendra found this really cute place to eat that also has a lot of gluten-free options for Caleb. San Francisco is amazing! Why do you think it's amazing, Laura? They also have mac and cheese here, so it's awesome! Because they have mac and cheese here. <laughs> so with Caleb's gluten-free needs, um, we get to really go off the beaten path and try some fun different restaurants. Now. I was the one paying and I accidentally tipped $500. I was trying to tip $5. You had to awkwardly be like, I can like, I uh, undo that? Oops. <laughs> We just discovered that there's outdoor patio seating. Check this out. I thought it was just an alleyway. You guys call them up. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón. They have a gluten-free banana strawberry Nutella crepe. Is it good? Okay, we've got strawberries, bananas, Nutella. This is pretty much dessert for lunch. Yummy, yummy mac and cheese. Oh, we knew what you were gonna order, big girl. Nutella. You might get a little messy. Yeah, it gets a little messy, but it's worth it. We have arrived, this is Golden Gate Park. This is Spreckles Lake in the Golden Gate Park, and it's known for these races with model sailboats. On the far end of Spreckles Lake, we got to talk to the people that have these model yachts, and that's apparently what it's called, the San Francisco Model Yacht Club. They go with the wind one direction, and then they have to sail back against the wind. It's amazing that there's all this beauty in nature right here in the middle of the city. I love that cities do that, like the foresight and the planning to say, you know what, let's make sure that people can be connected to nature even when they're living in the city. Guys, we found the Pacific Ocean! Oh my gorgeousness. So this is only our third day in San Francisco and I feel like we've been here for like a week or a month. Like we've packed so much in, so tonight we are taking it easy, staying home and doing a big nothing. We enjoyed a lovely afternoon and evening at home. We just ate at home, I did laundry, the kids played in the backyard, and now we're hitting the local park before bedtime. So this morning the church that we went to was Episcopalian, and I remember when we were in San Diego, we visited a cathedral of a Catholic church. I really want my children to be open-minded to different churches, different people's cultures and beliefs, because I think there's so much to be learned and valued from people who worship or do things different than we do. I'd love to hear in the comments about experiences you've had, where you've been uplifted, or had a good experience with people from a different culture culture or belief or background than what you are accustomed to. We finally got a smile out of this girl. So we're starting to talk about Halloween costumes. Oh yeah. And I was thinking it would be fun this year to do some kind of a theme costume for me, Kendra, and Nene. 
We looked up a couple funny ones, but if you have any ideas, let us know. Funny costume ideas for me, Kendra, and Janae. Done it. Jeremy and I have never dressed up for Halloween. I've always wanted to. We just never have. I mean, we did when we were younger, but we haven't since we've had kids. Isaac, you ready for this? We built a fort. We found the Google bikes. <laughs> oh, I found. <laughs> 